Hi guys, Paul from Remote TV speaking. In today's video, we will unbox something brand new, not by brand new because I have it, by because it's brand new, brand new. It's a new product from the Big Sky. It's new a uh, RAM block for which I got these DDDR5 heat sinks for the RAM sticks. So without further ado, let's go and start with the unboxing. Okay, two seals. I I'm still not sure if you can see here if it is uh, wrongly described as an arm block or it is it should be a RAM block. Tell me in the comments what do you think about it because right now I am really not sure if it is a bad description or it is a name of the product. Okay, let's take the knife and open the seals. First one, second one, safety first. And what do we have? First, what we see is uh, do it yourself. Some kind of a card where you can see uh, with which batch this block or packing was made. My is pretty new because it was completed together and sealed in a third of last month. Oh, sorry, 16th of last month. So that's brand new. Okay, what do we have here next? Some pack of screws for mounting the ramstick box or heat sinks. Uh, yes, this is a RGB, it's not an extension, it is more of the reduction because the block itself has four pin uh, connector, but on the other side you have a standard ARGB three pin connector. So it is more of the reduction. I am not sure why. Uh, it is a reduction and not to put it directly to the block itself. Okay, some kind of branding strategy, I don't know. And that's everything what we have from the box. Now let's check the block. What I have to admit that it is a uh, packed better than usual these products is packed so thumbs up for a big sky Jesus and the block yes yes I will run this which is not important nice long cable and this is the block Nice heat sink from the back side and black uh, colored. It's not a plastic, it's aluminum miter, so it is just perfect. And from the previous generation, which I really hated, there are uh, non color or transparent uh, rubber o rings. In the previous generation, was the orange ones, or the yellow ones, which was, well, not the best. But this is just beautiful. I really love how it looks like because the edging is very smooth and if you want uh, this is RGB so it can light but non-RGB build the black finish of the top with very decent small uh, name of the brand Big Sky is really fine and I like it. Here on the sides we will put the screws which will not be visible because it's a hole so if you will have it right di like this you will not see anything if you will have it standard way like this way yeah there is a chance that you will see a bit of the screws which are black ones so it will be you will see more or less one layer because it's black same as same as the front side of the block I really like it, it's heavy, 
RGB is not necessary, but it's nice to have it if you want. And everything about the block. And now let's check the heat sinks for the RAMs. They are DDR5, simple packing. I have four of them because it will be used for my next build. So let's open it. What do we have? Yes, thermal pads. Warp them. Yes, warp them. Oh, come on. And this nice aluminum heat sinks. One is H, where you can, uh, you can, you have to screw the second side of the RAM block. Uh, I am, I would say, almost surprised that there are so little use of this RAM box because from my personal experience, uh, whenever I touch my DDDR4 RAMs, whenever I try to uh, process something a bit more complicated or uh, run the games for a longer time, uh, the RAMs were uh, odd and I mean it, uh, like odd that it was nearly impossible to uh, touch them with the fingers. So I think that this kind of a cooling will be very soon much necessary because then you will melt your <laughs> RAM blocks because DDR5s use much higher frequencies so it means it products much more heat. Something else. I'm surprised that... well, surprised. Oh, what, the, what, what is it? Yes, there, there, here we are. Four screws, but you need only three of them. This is a very nice move to have one spare screw because you never know where, when there will be a manufacturer's mistake uh, in uh, terms of a uh, wrong screw hole here or I mean here or the screw itself will be somehow damaged. So nice move this guy, nice move. And from what I can see we have a block as I show you. Nice uh, nickel plating with my fingerprints. I'm not sure if I will remove uh, the seal but I will probably do it later because uh, why? Uh, the things will be placed like this, so it will lower my uh, cooling potential of this to have a sticker from so, from the below side of the block. But technically, it is a so small space; it almost doesn't matter. And that's probably everything from my side. We talked about this uh, RAM block and the DDDR5 heat sinks. Guys, I would like to thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this quick review on this brand new new product from the Big Sky. And if you like it, please give it a like and subscribe. And I hope that uh, I will see you very soon. Have a nice day, boys and girls.